having had, a, you know, a few extra hours to kind of process the result from, uh, from when we talked to you last night, just kind of what's going through your mind, you know, any, any extra thoughts, any additional thoughts about kind of what went wrong and, and maybe, you know, what you guys need to do next in order to kind of take that next step. And obviously we, we, we had a you know, higher expectation than losing in the second round. So it's, uh, it's painful, you know, when you, when you look at the year that we had, um, you know, the way we played all year uh, and, and, you know, and being up to all against a, a really good team and, and, and then losing four games in a row, it's, uh, you know, it's not something that we've done during the season. So it's, uh, yeah, pretty, a lot of frustration, you know, obviously, but uh, it's part of the game. And, uh, you know, you, you try to ask yourself the right questions, you know, and, and, uh, and try to think, you know, what can you do? Uh, what can we do to make sure that um, it, it stops happening? Tony Jones, The Athletic. Rudy, what do you guys have to do um, to take that next step? You took a step from being a good regular season team to being a great regular season team. So what needs to be, what step needs to be taken, roster or otherwise, for you guys to become a great playoff team? I mean, I think there's obviously a lot of things to, to, to think about myself uh you know once again i'm gonna have to clear my mind uh you know because there's a lot of things that kind of bother me so it's uh you know it's uh just gotta you know ask myself the right questions and uh you know keep putting the work in keep getting better and you know and uh hopefully when we you know we're gonna be in, we're gonna have more opportunities and you know, for myself, for my team, uh, try to be as good as we can and make sure that it doesn't happen again. Tim Reynolds, AP. Rudy, you talked about needing some time to clear your head. You're not going to have much, obviously. You're playing for you're playing for a gold medal starting in about five weeks. Does that make it any having that having the Olympics so close to the end of the season? How much does that sort of help the get, getting past the disappointment of not going as far as you wanted to with this group? I mean, it's definitely one of the, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a great goal that I, that I have that we have as a team to try to, try to win, a, try to play for, for a medal in the Olympics. So it's, you know, um, for me, it's going to be another great opportunity to, you know, keep getting better. And, and at the same time, you know, uh, um, try to accomplish something great, you know, for for my country and 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 for my team. So it's you know it's pretty soon, but at the same time, as uh, uh, because we lost in the second round, you know, I have a little time to uh, recover and you know and get ready for for these Olympics. Sarah Todd, does right news. Rudy, you said that there were some things bothering you. Can you elaborate on that? No, just in general, you know, I just don't like losing. Ben Anderson, KSLSports.com. Rudy, you've talked a lot when you've won Defensive Player of the Year awards that it's a team effort. Is there a type of defensive player that you could add to the roster that would make your job easier, your life easier? I mean, it's, it's basketball, you know. Uh, it, it, it takes a team effort to, to, it takes five guys to defend, to, to, to try to, to play for a championship, you know, and, uh, you know, uh, those guys were, you know, obviously, uh, I mean, they, they all raised their level, you know, Reggie Jackson, uh, Terrence Mann, uh, Paul George was doing what he does. Uh, everyone on their team, you know, raised their level and, you know, it, it was hard for us to um, guard them as a team. You know, we, I thought the I've said yesterday that they were, I thought they were the most connected team, and I really thought they were. And you know, and defensively, I thought they were they were doing overall a better job than we did. Uh, 
you know, with the weapons that they had. And, you know, it's it's all of us. I mean, it's, it's, once again, it's a team game. Uh, you know, you, you don't lose by yourself. You don't win by yourself. Uh, you don't get stops by yourself, you know. And, you know, it takes everybody to, uh, you know, to to win a championship. It takes everybody. And, you know, there's, obviously there's a lot of things to look at, you know, uh, uh, a lot of film to, to, to look at and, and and see what what are the things that we should have, we can do better. Uh, but at the end of the day, once again, it's basketball. Like it starts with one on one, and you know, and and then the the, the schemes comes into place. But it starts with one on one. David James, KTV. Rudy, obviously a lot of teams are uh, trying to play small ball and pull you away from the hoop. What do you think you can uh, add offensively or improve offensively to punish some of those small ball lineups? I mean, I don't know. What do you think? Like, what do you think we we should do when a team plays small? I don't know. That's why I asked you, Rudy. I mean, you're, you're the big guy and you seem to have a size mismatch. I wonder if there was something you could do. There you go. Next up, Andy Larson, Salt Lake Tribune. Rudy, I'll just follow up on that. I'm curious kind of more on the defensive end of things. Uh, you know, I, I think the, 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 the kind of the word is that you're you're kind of either not played off the floor, but not as at your most impactful when teams are playing these five out lineups. Um, I, I mean, how would you respond to that? And kind of what, what do you think kind of needs to happen in order for the team to defend better against that kind of look? Because obviously it was a problem in this series. I mean, my, my, my job is to make sure that, you know, uh, guys don't get shot in the paint at first. And then obviously uh, there's some situations when team try to, uh, you know, draw me in to, to, to kick out to the threes. But, you know, the problem is if I don't, if I don't come and help, it's layups. And, you know, and at the end of the day, we, the game plan was to, that we chose that it was better to give up uh, Terrence Mensch uh, threes than Reggie Jackson, PG, or even Kawhi early on uh, layups. So, you know, it's, uh, you know, Terrence Mann did a, did a great job knocking down the shots. Uh, I thought we uh, we tried to adjust and, and go into full rotation. But uh, the few times when I didn't, you know, I didn't come and help, uh, he ended up in layups. And, uh, you know, I just tried to, uh, you know, uh, I trusted the game plan that for me to, to, to help my teammates and, and, uh, and then us try to figure it out on the backside. But, you know, they did. They did a great job moving the ball, uh, play the right way every single possession. And, uh, you know, that's what good things do. You know, you got to give them credit. And and on us, you know, I think we, yeah, we just all got to raise all of them, you know. And we got to understand that when it's playoff time, we all got to be, we all got to defend. We all got to, you know, we can, it takes five guys to defend, to play against that kind of lineup. And, you know, we just didn't. Dana Green, ABC4. Hey, Rudy. Um, the biggest uh, uh, free agent going into the offseason, Mike Conley. Um, what are your thoughts on the possibility of him coming back? How important is it to maintain the continuity with, uh, with an experienced point guard like that? I mean, it was, it was uh, a huge reason why we, we had the year that we had. You know, and, and I do think that if we had him healthy during the series, it wouldn't be a different series. So, you know, uh, I would love to have him back. You know, I think he's a, uh, he's a leader, you know, his, his, his presence, uh, he makes people around him better. And, you know, we, we miss that you know, during the series. So it's, uh, I hope that he's going to, you know, stay with us and, and, and uh, run him back with us next year. Okay, we have time for one more. Now, CampbellUtahJazz.com. Hey, Rudy, um, just re reflecting on the season, uh, what are you most proud of both individually and as a team? I mean, I think we, obviously it's, it's frustrating to lose right now, but I, I think the year that we have, 
we all the things that we've been through as a group, uh, individually and collectively. You know, um, I mean, it's it's a. Uh, I'm proud of the way we, of the resiliency that we had throughout the year and, and after what happened last year. Uh, you know, for myself, you know, like I said, I don't I don't put my stuff out there for cameras. Uh, you know, I keep a lot of stuff for myself, but it's been. Uh, it's been a tough year, so I'm just grateful that, you know, I was able to, you know, have a healthy uh, season and, you know, and, you know, win, uh, win as many games as we won and, you know, and uh, I'm excited to keep getting better and, and, and see what happens next year. Okay, that's it. Thank you, Rudy. We appreciate your time. Thank you.